Once upon a time, on the north shore of Long Island, some 30 miles from New York, there lived a small girl on a large estate. And so begins Sabrina, the story of a chauffeur's daughter, hopelessly in love with the dashing son of the wealthy family they serve, who is sent away to Paris, only to return with a newfound radiance that transforms the lives of all those around her. Taxi, miss. Cheapest rates in Glencoe. Well, hello. How are you? Well, I'm fine. How are you? And I might add, who are you? Who am I? Am I supposed to know? Come to think of it, no, you're not supposed to know. This lush romantic comedy from Academy Award winning director Billy Wilder, featuring Oscar winners Humphrey Bogart and William Holden, captivated audiences and critics alike and secured the legend of its Cinderella-like star, Audrey Hepburn. Sabrina came along and we here at Paramount, we were so excited. My gosh, we had Humphrey Bogart, Audrey Hepburn, William Holden and Billy Wilder in the same package. And I've never seen Audrey Hepburn more excited than when she read the uh, script on Sabrina because she just knew that this picture was so important in her career. Sabrina was only Hepburn's second Hollywood film, but after her stunning debut in Roman Holiday, Paramount was eager to capitalize on her skyrocketing popularity. I would like to say how very, very grateful I am for this beautiful award and how grateful I am to those who enabled me to receive it. Sabrina actually began its screen life as a play called Sabrina Fair. But while the production was being mounted for the stage, Paramount realized that this was the perfect vehicle for their newfound star and quickly secured the rights. New egg. One, two, three. Crack. Take an egg. Crack. The wrist, hmm? Like you weep, you watch. One, two, three, crack! To direct this motion picture, Paramount assigned Billy Wilder, who had earned much deserved acclaim in Hollywood with such feature films as Stalag 17 and Sunset Boulevard. Billy Wilder had that great ability to include in every scene drama, humor. He knew how to put that film right. Although it had been a number of years since Wilder directed a comedy, Sabrina touched off a streak of comedic successes for him. In fact, in Sabrina, Wilder sets up what would become his next film project when he has Linus Larrabee outline his upcoming Broadway date with Sabrina by telling his secretary. I want two tickets to the Seven Year Rich. And even with two of Hollywood's best known actors at her side, the heart and soul of Sabrina is Audrey Hepburn. David, I don't believe I know this young lady. Oh, yes, you do. Good evening, Mrs. Larrabee. Mother, this is Miss Fairchild. Sabrina? Yes, of course. You didn't recognize me, did you? Have I changed? Have I really changed? You certainly have. Audrey Hepburn was a very unique person. And certainly one of the most darling ladies I ever knew on this lot. Her charming and elf-like grace was a quality that made the role of Sabrina a perfect fit, both in her mind and in the eye of director Billy Wilder. Oh, Sabrina, Sabrina, where have you been all my life? Right over the garage. Right over my car. Right up in that tree. What a fool I was. What a crush I had on you. First cast opposite Hepburn was William Holden as roguish David Larrabee fresh off the set of his Academy Award-winning performance in Stalag 17. Bill loved playing this playboy part because he, could, he had fun with it. Cary Grant was brought in next as Linus, David's stuffed shirt older brother. But Grant suddenly dropped out just one week before filming was to begin. And Wilder, in need of a strong leading man older than Holden, approached screen legend Humphrey Bogart. Bogey who had been always playing the tough, rough, gangster sort of roles, was equally excited about doing Sabrina because here he was playing a part of a stuffy, business-oriented man. All he thought about was his business affairs and what was happening. And then he had this younger brother, William Holden, who was a playboy. Morning, Linus. Where are you off to? The office. Where do you think? 
The office on Sunday? Today is Wednesday. Wednesday? I'd go out to Warner's sometime to visit my friend Jimmy Cagney, and if Bogey was working, I'd go over and watch him because he just made it look so easy. Inter office memo, Linus Larrabee to David Larrabee. Dear David, this is to remind you that you are a junior partner of Larrabee Industries. Our building is located at 30 Broad Street, New York City. Your office is on the 22nd floor. Our normal week is Monday through Friday. Our working day is 9 to 5. Should you find this inconvenient, you are free to retire under the Larrabee Pension Plan. Having been with us one year, this will entitle you to 65 cents a month for the rest of your life. <laughs>